Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have another Microman Magne Powers review for you. Uh, this is 031, another of the cassette machines. This is Stealth Heli. As you can see it is a cassette that turns into a little helicopter and it comes with an Ultraman here. Now taking a look at the back of the packaging, uh, it says the name here Microman and it's Kurak, which I kind of looked it up and everyone seems to agree it's Clerk. It's Q, uh, yeah, Q, geez. It's K U R A, and then like a long A sound, and then K U again. So, Kuraku. So, they're saying it's Clerk. I didn't know what. I'm like, Crag? That doesn't really make any sense. So, I'm going to go with Clerk. So, we're just going to call him Clerk. Here's the uh, instructions for transforming the cassette into the helicopter, which of course we'll take a look at. Here's the other cassette machine, the bike that we already took a look at. And then it shows these are the two uh, cats that I've already reviewed. This is the, what did I say this was called? Hurricane Bird. So there you go. Very cool packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get out of there and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here is everything out of the packaging. Uh, we'll take a look at Clerk first. I really like the color scheme. I think it's kind of cool. You have this kind of brownish tan with the red and then kind of a dark maroon translucent plastic. And then you have a little bit of gold accent. So it's it's kind of cool. I actually like this color scheme a lot. He's got the same articulation that any of the other Microman figures have. Head can rotate side to side. You have the ball joints, or I should say, I'm sorry, the hinge shoulder goes like this. Can also spin all the way around. For the arm with the gun hand, you just have a bicep swivel and then there's a magnet at the tip. There's also a magnet in the chest. Uh, over here you have the bicep swivel, but you also have an elbow. It's not super, it's not exactly 90 degrees, more like 45 degrees, but still pretty good. I love these chrome weapons. They remind me so much of G1 Transformers, which if you think about it, makes total sense because, you know, Microman's kind of one of the origins for Transformers, even though this is a more modern Ultraman. Uh, you have a ball joint here in the hip, and then you have not quite 90 degrees in the knee and then he's got two magnets in his feet so that's pretty cool but yeah overall i really like him head sculpt pretty good cool. almost looks like he has a mustache but i can't 100 percent make it out but do you see what i mean see yeah, he's kind of a ridge there i'm gonna just i'm gonna pretend He's got a mustache because it's more fun for me. Anyway, he looks great, so we'll put him off to the side. I absolutely love the fact that these cassette machines come in cassette jewel cases. That is just 100% amazing attention to detail. So simple to do, but so effective. So you open this up, take the cassette out. It even comes with like a fake paper insert that says MSH. I'm assuming short for machine, Stealth Heli 031 Microman. Cassette machine down here. I love this. It even has the Microman 031 cassette machine Stealth Heli. It's just it's perfect. This is such such excellent detail to include this. I absolutely love it. Um but yeah, first of all, love the color scheme. The translucent light blue with the lime green really looks cool together. I like it a lot. It is a weird color combination, but I dig it. Down here, cassette machine stealth heli, and it even has the kind of bump out for the cassette. If it wasn't, you know, made of these multicolored plastics, I feel like you could mistake it for, a, you know, a cassette. Also, there's no tape, obviously, inside, but what are you going to do? But yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really cool. I'm going to go ahead and we'll get started here with the transformation. All right, so transformation, not too difficult. You see there is a little ridge right here. You can kind of get your nail in. You just kind of grab that and pull it up. That's going to uh, expose the blade of the helicopter. At that point, you're going to bring this around, This starting with this lime green piece over here. And this is all going to flip around. You can see this piece of plastic is going to fold right in there right underneath the lime green piece you extended so that way it won't fall down so that's perfect then you're going to flip these tails up just like so this one's kind of weird i don't know why but when i try to do it like this it doesn't want to stay but i realize if i rotate it around it doesn't give me any trouble so i don't know what that's about <laughs> i don't know if the hinge just 
doesn't like to bend the other way, but if I rotate it around, it's fine. I don't know. The other thing is you're supposed to bring these around, um, but for some reason when you do that, this bottom one just always wants to fall out. So you just clip it back on. And it's very tiny to see, but you can see that the bottom one has kind of a little nubbin that fits into that little notch, and that's just so that they kind of stay together when they are fully extended so that you can spin it and you can see it spins fairly decently not amazingly but not bad uh, at this point you're going to grab a hold of this top section here and split it in half and it's going to rotate down and kind of rest when it gets done you can see how that's kind of beveled right there and these are kind of on a deal where like if you move one it moves the other so you kind of have to it's a really tight joint on mine and sometimes i'm afraid i'm going to break it but i think it's okay so you bring it down to about there they're going to be pretty much uh, like if this is a plane right here, it's going to match up with these. So don't try to get them all the way down. They do not go 180. They stop about here. They probably could go a little bit more. But like I said, mine's so tight, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Uh, take this piece here and rotate this down like so. And you'll see this is actually going to fit in between these two pieces here. So just make sure that happens. Then right here, you're going to rotate 180 degrees. And then you're going to flip this down 90 degrees. And there you go. There is the Stealth Heli. It does come with some chrome uh, missiles that you would load right in here. And you can see it's spring loaded. You would hit that right there. Um, they're still on the sprue. I didn't want to cut them. As soon as I tried to like break them off, the chrome started chipping. So I was like, I'm just going to leave them in there. Very similar to what happened with the Sonic bike. So I just left them off. But if you want to break them off, they would pop in here and then you just fire and they're spring loaded. So, but anyway, I think this looks really cool. I'm going to bring the micro man in, Let's see what we can do about getting him on here. So I guess I'll just bend him like this. Yeah, I guess that works. He fits on pretty easily. Oh, there's, oh, there's a peg. Look at that. That's really nice. Probably don't want to force it in too hard, but just to give him a little bit of a, a guide. You can peg it into his back there. So that's awesome. So he stay right on there. No problem with that. That's awesome. Uh, I love the bike. But I don't know. I might love this one more. Is that possible? I don't know. They're both really good. <laughs> it's just really a lot of fun. I love it. I really can't recommend these enough. Both the cassette machines are fantastic. Uh, if you can get a hold of them for a reasonable price, I definitely recommend picking them up. They're just a lot of fun. I mean, the little Microman figures are already fun on their own, but the fact that it's a little cassette that transforms into a little vehicle and it even has, like, the plastic cassette case for it to go into, I mean, that's just perfect attention to detail. I do realize for younger kids who don't really have any experience with cassettes, this probably might not be as fun as for someone as old as me who remembers cassettes, grew up with cassettes. Uh, so I do understand that, but... Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I mean, Microman originally gave us the cassettes that eventually became, like, Soundwave and his minions. And now they're giving us more cassette fun with these little vehicles. So, I don't know, man. Takara knows how to make cassettes fun. I just gotta say it. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend these if you can find them for a reasonable price. I got mine from Mandarake. Um, Yahoo Japan Auctions, probably your other best bet if you're looking for these older toys. So, yeah, a lot of fun. I love them. The figure's great. The accessories are great. The vehicle is fantastic. I really have no complaints, so definitely check it out. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks so much for watching.